Hey, it's Pasty's Prime here, and welcome back to Baldur Gate 3, where we're continuing our first playthrough of the game, and we've just survived a battle um, started by a mirror, um, and I'm just looking around now, seeing what we've got. We've still got the mirror there. I don't know whether to go with it as well. There's also this moldering case, casket. Now, if I click it, are we going to get another one? No. Okay. Scroll of Summon Quasit. Summon a Quasit from the Lower Plains. Alright. Well, we'll take that. Now, was that the book we read earlier? Seems simple enough. Let me have a look. Just check. Yeah, I think it was. Okay. So. Candles. There's another shovel. Dark journal. Do we read the dark journal? No, I don't think so. Don't remember this. Six night all thirteen seventy one dr. I pay no service to the gods, but by some blessing, this village believes me and my apprentice to be simple healers. My tattoos are hidden, my red robes locked away, and my lab secured. I have not heard the word thy since we arrived, and only my apprentice knows me as Ilion Toth. This place is not ideal for my research, but I can never return home. Not the way I escaped. I'd be put to death with worse to follow. The work here is simple and allows me to continue my research at night, but progress is slow. Reanimation seems easy, but restoring life. That prize eludes me. The tome contains the magic I need, but it fights me at every step, as does my apprentice. At least my familiar has made it easy to secure bodies without raising suspicion. This will take time. Will the Zulkers find me before I can bring her, her back? I cannot say, but if they do come for me, they'll have to face the guardians I've raised. Uh, okay. Well, that is definitely uh, a good pickup. Um, what I would like to do is give everybody a shovel. If we're wandering around or anything like that, I just think it would be handy if we split up that everybody has a shovel. Um, we're still going to have to go through all this stuff. I always get in this position where I don't do anything with it and I need to sort it and use it and then I don't. Uh, but that's just the way it is. Because otherwise we spend all of the video doing that. Can't slow down. I don't mind doing it between videos. Okay, I don't know if she's going to talk to us again. The mirror. But we're going to quick save because I don't want to get into a disaster again. You are not my master. If you are his ally, step forward and declare it. Well, let's try a different one. Only a true ally of Illentoth may pass. What think you of the Zolkir known as Zastan? Zastan is a foul, wretched creature. You are no Zolkir, but are you wise? Tell me, why might one use balsam ointment? Oh, crocky. I read a doctor's journal. He is balsam to clean a wound. He treats burns to clear a rash. Yeah, it's trouble. Acceptable. Oh, Thank you. 
If you could see anything in me, what would it be? I'd see the ones I love. I'd look for whatever spell will rid me of this worm in my head. I'd see my enemies suffering. Oh, the worm in the head would be good. You seek to survive. You seek power. Be welcome. Starion is inspired. Hey, we opened the mirror. A well-guarded laboratory. What were they hiding down here? Oh, God knows. Let's light some candles. Candles are our friend. Wow, that's worth a lot. All right. What is down here? Something good here, I hope. No. Did I check that barrel? Yes, I think I did. Uh, it's just a torch. I'll take it because I think somebody doesn't have a torch, but... The book is filled with pages and pages of observations, tracking travellers and people in the village. You turn to the final pages. 26, Alicius, Olive Singe, merchant, arrives in Moonhaven, departs next day, Shallastite. 7, uh, Eliant, stranger, named unknown, passes through, not thine. Uh, 14, uh, Marthanop, three men in black armour, pass through, not thine. 2, Yukta, Hack, Hackett, journeyman, passes through, not thine. 30, Ukta, not thine, but danger. Okay, we get the point, not thine. Uh, Nightingale, the book's gem, key's gem has gone missing. Famia, ordered to watch my apprentice. Nightall, singe, passes through, doesn't stop. Nightall, Famia, reports, apprentice disappeared near, well, well observed. Nightall, raid, same soldiers as before, townsfolk. Nightall, smoke on horizon, raid. You turn page after page filled with strange alchemical sketches and formula. Some are written plainly, some in runes and scripts you barely recognize. There are guides to transmuting metals and recipes for weapons of war, but more than anything else, the book is concerned with reanimating dead flesh. Raised dead, failed, gone too long, body decomposed. Reanimation failed, came back as ghoul, had to kill again. Speak with dead, failed, answers unhelpful, clone, failed, needs living tissue. Reanimation boss, clone, failed, had to kill both ghouls. Resurrection, failed, why, magical curse. True resurrection, I have researched the limit of my skills and resources. The book offers help, dare I accept. There's a rusted iron gate. What was that? What popped up?
Braces of Defense. I will definitely take them. All right, what else have we got here? Wait, what? Evil Eye? Uh, probably would have been good to have read that. While the number of trinkets and bargains a hag personally acquires means that her powers will be unique compared to that of her sisters, hags as a whole can still be divided into three subcategories. Night hags, named as such for their ability to haunt a mortal's dreams, slowly devouring vital essence until the victim's soul can be trapped into the hag's soul bag. They are known for being petty, selfish braggarts. Sea hags, known for devouring their victims whole, sea hags can terrorise and kill with a single look. They reek of fish and are incapable of making a proper cup of tea. Green hags, they are beautiful, they are powerful, speak not a word against them. Okay. Um, now there was another book over here. That one there. Can we just read it? Next up from the ongoing meta text rebound by Ol Safar Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denier for her her heretical efforts to reconstruct the meta text, her God's annal of lost and hidden knowledge. Of what value is a life? Far too esoteric a topic to warrant any serious critical consideration between these pages, surely or so it would seem at first glance. But once we push aside the mysticism and dewy-eyed sentiment so often clouding our assessment, it is clear that across all the spinning planes, each and every life does indeed have a quantifiable value. It is simply that not all are equally valuable. Consider we already know that the destruction of our material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death transcending planar barriers in search of a resting place that best befits our deeds. Beliefs and station in life, but even this assessment is subject to market forces. Lord Kalamvor, weighing our souls against how thoroughly we have given them over to other gods, empowering them in turn. There is, of course, an alternate route, not the end of the path, but the chance to retread it. Clerics across the realms wield the power to return life to any soul, deemed worthy or willing enough. It is strange, then, that these so frequently intersect with those deemed wealthy enough, for the components for such a spell are beyond the means of most mortals. I have interviewed those who have made such a return and in truth have found them to be the most dull and unimaginative sort that I cannot possibly imagine what it is they were so eager to return to. If a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there is simply no replacement for embarking upon it. Oneself, perhaps one day, this great volume of learning will make me worthy enough to walk that path and wealthy enough to return." Okay. Let's check out this spot. Oh, grab that antidote. No. Antidote. Thank you. Did we read that one? Uh, okay, the publisher's note claims this volume promotes magical theory too radical for the mainstream. This excerpt is attributed to High Artificer Thor Brynn of Baldur's Gate. Well, hang on, I think we... No, we've already read this one. Yeah, we read that one. Get that. We already read it. Grab the Mogwort. Bones. Oh, 
Check on chest there. Oh, just a handful of scrolls. You scrolls indeed. Um, all right, so there was what there was something. Now I've forgotten what it was. There was an iron gate. Don't touch me. Sorry. All right. Traps. How considerate. Uh. Okay, we disarmed. Wait, why is this not unlocking? Hang on, is he failing? Does it tell you? actually tell him to do it. I thought if I just clicked on it, he would do it. Oh, is that going to be enough? Yeah. I guess it's to avoid you wasting your lockpicks. Alright, what now? Open the door. Uh... Is that going to be a problem? No. Defender of the people. Traps. How considerate. Okay, we've got traps. Disarm. Lucky for all the bonuses, hey? Uh, should we have done that one instead? Let's go for broke. It's to disarm them all. Well, there you go. Stop me yet. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Oh, lovely oval book. recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. You can sense something dark about this tome. Something profane. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? We surely shouldn't leave such a threat out. 
where anyone could stumble across it. Um, hmm. Drop the tome, ready to destroy it. Tuck the book into your pack. Leave the book be. I think I'm going to put it in my pack. I don't know what we're going to do with it. But we have it. So. Man, we've got all these things here. Defeat the goblins. Nautilin. Crash region. Find the night song. Rescue the gnome. Uh, okay, we've got to find... Destroy the ancient tome. Only light from the divine can burn away this book's evil. Evil is inscribed on every page of this book, but all evil has a weakness. There must be a way to destroy it. Or unlock it. The book is locked tight and the mechanism is in shape for a key. Maybe some kind of stone would work. The owner of the tome mentioned a key gem. Could this be the secret to unlocking the necromancy of Thai? Thay? Well, that is a good question, but I don't think we have anything... We have a lot of stuff of our, in our inventory, but I doubt we have what that's looking for. a torch wait why does it take your sword off just because i give you a torch up there anyway moving on okay so it feels like we're done down here but i don't still not 100 percent convinced because we didn't find something i mean was that meant to be down here Or is it somewhere else? What's hiding here? thought that whatever you wanted was in here but oh, I'll give it a shot did we go up there clearly not oh there's a lever Well, that was lucky. That would have been a room missed. Rusted key. I'll take that.
Well, this place is full of secrets. Watch your back. Yeah, you're good at finding traps. Anything I should be concerned? Hang on, are we back in... Let's I think move. we're back in the main room. Anything of use? We are. Yeah, because that's the rags. Okay. Um, unless I've missed something. I think we have looked everywhere. Alright. So, um... Swift as my feet can carry me. I think we need to do a long rest because we got no spells and we've got to go save a goblin. Wait, what is, so what is that showing us? Investigate the temple. Approach the goblins. Investigate the swamp. All right, can we set up camp here? Ah, we got some people are speaking. Gail. Always a pleasure. Ah, glad you have a moment for me. My, um, predicament has become rather urgent. I need a magical artifact to consume right now. We've already found enough magic to soothe its disquiet. If you'll just give me what I need. Um, mm hmm. What will happen to the item should I give it to you? I will consume the magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket, but it will save my life. Even if only temporarily. Alright. Oh, God, we haven't... Uh, can we come back? I haven't sorted yet. Perhaps I'm not conveying the urgency of the situation. It's incredibly, world-shatteringly important you give me a suitable artifact. Please. Okay, so I could do this one because I want to go and grab something for him, but I'm not carrying... I haven't checked these items yet. Will it work? Seriously? Uh, well, we've got four inspiration, and they say you can only have a maximum of four anyway, so let's give it a shot. Okay. Of course. I would hate for you to think me impatient or ungrateful. I shall persevere for now. Yeah, just give me a moment. All I want to do is sort out what I've got. So, he wants to consume... Where was the other one? Yeah, I don't want to give those. I'd rather not give those. Strength saving throw. So what are these? Become the boar. You gain a plus two bonus to armor class as long as you are not wearing armor or holding a shield. Oh, 
Okay. But we are wearing armor. It's funny because Gail's the one not wearing armor. Okay, where's our traveler's chest? Let's go have a look. Did I not have stuff in here? Gale can absorb that. Uh, he can also absorb that. And the hat. Okay. So we don't have a bard. So... I'm definitely thinking that... Let's take that. And what I'll do is we'll send... Send that to camp. Can Will learn spells? No. So only Gale can. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Okay. So let's send those to camp. It's just the book. Simple toxin. Right, we'll come back to that stuff. Uh, okay, it doesn't say anything about Gale doing that one. Order of Nature. Uh, I'll go through this stuff some other time. I've got to sort all this out. It's not important. I just want something for him. What's on your mind? Apart from finding me an artifact to consume? I've got I one. You're pursuing with the appropriate urgency. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? Give girl a magical artifact. This one. Thank you. spot i can feel it work the magic it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside a metaphorical demon i haste to point out but no less dangerous and no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages such is the nature of all monsters okay um uh... <laughs> Perhaps now you'll tell me what all this is in aid of? Grateful as I am, the course of our camaraderie is much better served by not taking that particular detour. Not just yet. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. That condition of yours is a very expensive one. Contained it in water deep. Nothing there comes cheap. Okay. Cut, cut that off pretty quick, didn't ya? Well, 
Okay. Uh, anybody else want to talk? What the hell is everyone else hiding? Okay, I don't see any... Any things. So, how about we just go and have a little nappy. Well, we would accept... Who wants to chat? Where's everybody hiding? God, they're all in different places. Not you. Wait, what? Oh, it's with us. Gale again. Oh. That hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I hate to point that. out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Uh, we'll go with this one. I'm glad you're feeling better. Your condition sounds unpleasant, to say the least. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side... My tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Mm. <laughs> Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. Um. Don't mention it. I'm glad I could help. My lord, I bow to your boundless kindness. Okay. Go to bed. Okay. Are we all done? Let us leave the can. I think. Oh, do I have to check? Do I have to check? No one wants to talk to me. It's not the most appropriate place. I can't see where anybody is. Uh, no, it seems not. So let's leave the camp. Okay, now what we want to do is. Mm, Let's do our stuff. Uh, we're gonna do ourselves. We do you. So, Gale just consumes magical items like I do wine. We truly are a group apart. Nevertheless, as quirks go. That's a new one for me. Uh, okay. I didn't mean to do that. I thought I was clicking on that, but that's Much fine. Wait. Oh, I did jump. Whoops. That's not the right one. I was supposed to be doing the uh, walking one. Whoever said I don't know what I'm doing. Well, your jump power's gonna wear off soon. Okay, there's that. Did anybody else have? Where am I needed? Does he have something? Because we had Gale doing one. No, he doesn't have one. How delicious. You have nothing. I mean, that's a ritual, but that's just to change your appearance. So, no. 
No one back home will ever believe this. All right. Let's get out of here. All right. So do we think we've checked everywhere here? I don't know. I sort of feel like we have. All right. Where did, where did we come in? I think we came in over here somewhere, didn't we? These boots have seen everything. Okay, there, I mean, there is the roof. That might be just for fighting. What that cupboard is. What's in here? That would be nothing. Where was the... Oh, I was up there. Looking for this thing. Look what we got here. Another little birdie wanting to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more, and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. What the hells are you doing? What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. Let me rephrase that. Why are you doing this? Cause it makes me laugh. <laughs> Does look funny, I'll admit. Mind if I stay and watch a while? Uh, fun's over, release the gnome. You want this little cave lurking, what's it? Find your own. He's ours! As the symbol glows, Power courses through you. Authority. Okay, so we could go with that again. Read the goblin's mind. Try that. Oh, I ain't got much stomach for a fight. Better just put on a show and scare this one off. <sighs> okay. You don't have the stomach for a fight. The goblin's nostrils flare. As if trying to judge you through smell alone. We're leaving. Warper the gnome. Ain't we supposed to bring him to... I said we're leaving. There's plenty of sport and rich pickings out there for us. All right, then. Fresh meats. Scared meats. Yeah. 
Okay. Off you go. Okay, how do we get him down? Mold sheep. I wonder who mauled that sheep. Okay, there's got to be a way in there to turn it off, right? You'd think that? Speedy Lightfoot. Speedy Sparks. When the wearer dashes or takes a similar action during combat, they gain three lightning charges. That's medium armor. Hmm. We'll take it. I just don't know if we have anybody that Looks can empty. wear it. Oh, rotten cheese. Okay, how do you... Okay, there's a ladder there. No. Let's see what this does. Well, it's called a ladder. We know what it does. You just... Oh. Is that it? Yeah! I'm coming. Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. Oh, is that Shah? We... we should keep moving. Another episode. Why does this keep happening to you? You already know as much as I do. Best ignore it. As long as it doesn't hamper us too much. Well, you said it. Where's the statue she was staring at? I was there. There's a studded shield. Maybe I need more pockets. Oh, lantern. Uh, how do we turn it off? Help. Yeah, I'm thinking. Could be a way to stop it. Thought coming up here would do it, but no. We've all got to go down. Oh, there we go. What the? Oh, we sped it up. <laughs> Wait, were we supposed to do that? Oops. Sorry. Is he alive? Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> All right. What's the deal? Anything around here we haven't really looked at? Yeah, I don't know what that is. No, don't bother. God, don't. don't bother doing that. Uh, maybe there was another lever? Is that still in here or is that out? Yeah, I'm wet. I'm confused where we are. Well, we definitely no, we definitely haven't gone that way because it's. Wait, what's this red? Scrawny bugbear. Okay, well, they are asleep. Jesus, I really got turned around in this place. That's where we came in. Oh, elf on the roof. A goblin on the roof, I mean. Sure, I like what I see in there. They looked a little big. Okay, well, we're definitely going to give that to a Starion. Yeah, and I will sort out the rest later. Uh, Probably gonna have to fight those big creatures, I would imagine. Don't talk. I've been looking. Okay, so I'm gonna get encumbered if I'm not already. Yeah, I need to sort out all my stuff. I'm sure we checked all this stuff. Alright, let's just come over here. 
got our little thing here and we're going to call it there for this video so we will come back and probably find out what these big creatures are doing uh and whatever else i'm assuming we probably killed that uh whatever he was i mean we freed him uh it says we rescued him oh no he was killed okay so, yeah, we're still doing that stuff. Okay, yeah, we haven't done either of these. Not sure what that's going to be yet. We haven't worked that out either. There's lots of stuff here we haven't worked out, but we can't do everything. And we're going to come back. So let me know your thoughts, opinions in the comments. Um, let me know if you're liking the game still, you want to see more of it on the channel, less of it, none at all. Feel free to give me advice, etc. Just avoid story spoilers. Um, yeah, if you want to give me tips. Not sort of hint to things, but not tell me specific things, not spoil the story, but, you know, obviously allow me to progress the stories. That's fine. And, um... Yeah, if you want to ask me questions, do that as well. I read all the comments, answer every comment as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.